Hello, I'm back. As you can see, I've got my tear and tape on there and I have cut. You can use ribbon, but I only have retired ribbons at the moment. So I'm using some uh, Whisper White Thick Baker's Twine. So I'm going to put that about an inch down on there to stick it to where I've got the tear and tape. And I'm going to do it to the other side. Right, this gives you something to hang it on. Then I'm just going to grab a couple more pieces of tear and tape and put over that twine so that it doesn't move when we stick the two halves together. I wonder if you can see my belly in this. <laughs> Hope not. Never mind if you can. It's a well-earned belly. All right. I'll stick that back on there. Now this is the good fun part. Just peel that off. There. And that off there. And you are going to start at the bottom and press the two halves together. Give them a good press. Right. Then next you're going to take tear and tape on here and here. You can use the liquid glue, but you'll be holding it uh, until it dries. So we'll just grab some more tear and tape. And put them there. And if you can hear that running and pouncing about, one of my darling little kitties has caught a lizard. Again. What are you doing, Pip? Naughty girl, she's brought it in from the garden. Naughty girl. I hope it runs away from you and goes under the floorboards. You're a bad kitty. It's only a baby one, too. Okay, see how I've put the tear and tape on? So just open that last fan fold. Put your fingers in there and squeeze them together. Whoop. Try not to get your twine in there. Press it down, squish it. So that will hold it still. Okay. A little bit more tear and tape. I'll be honest, this is not tear and tape per se. I had a roll of tear and tape. A great big roll. And it's rolled somewhere. <laughs> Yeah, might be hiding with the other double-sided tape, but I doubt it very much because I had it about four months ago and I took it to a craft night and I know I brought it home. But where did where'd you put it? I don't know. So, yeah, it will turn up, you know, like all those other things that get lost in the hovel. Right, so we've stuck that one down. And just press it down. How cute is that? There's your little wings. You can fan them back out again. Like that. The next thing I need as a, is a piece of scrap um, yellow cardstock uh, pineapple punch. I don't have any so I'm just going to cut a piece off this that matches and I'm not going to I'm not really going to measure it it's about half a, half an inch and you want it two and a half inches long yep the cat's dividing so where's my ruler two and a half inches long let's fold this end up and I'll find two and a half inch there we go. That long. And then you're just going to fold it at half an inch, one inch, one and a half inches, and two inches. And that gives you a little bit left over. I'll fold it back the other way so it matches. And this is what I'm going to put at the top here. 
to hold the head on. In the original video, I'm not sure how she did it, but I stopped watching because I thought, that's never going to stick. So, that's all you need is a little bit of a square, see? So, a little bit of this awesome sauce glue. And it dries really quick and it's so hot again in Sydney again today that you probably hear the fan going and the air con clunking away. There we go. Right? So then, you're just going to sit that, open up your ribbon or twine, whatever you've used. All right? And just hold it, hold it out of the way like that. Can you see that? And put some glue on there and you're going to press this on like that and make sure you've got a part of it facing front and back because then you've got a flat surface to glue your head to now that's going to take a little while to dry I'll just hold it in there hopefully I don't glue my foot I've done that before okay <laughs> yeah of course I glued my fingers to it oh Virginia sounded like my mother then there we go so I won't let it fall just going to use my tweezers to push it in a bit more so that just give it a few minutes to dry and then you'll be able to put your little heads on there and it'll be those. This is a blue one that I'm going to do, a blueberry bushel one. Right, so I'll be back in a sec because I've got to go and find some more of this colour for the heads. <laughs> 